for dust explosions, you typically need five things. You need fuel, uh, you need oxygen, you need an ignition source, you need the dust to be dispersed. And then typically that happens in a confined area, but it doesn't have to be a confined area, but typically it is. So with our simulator, we use two teaspoons of non-dairy creamer is what we put in there to represent the dust. Uh, we then put paper over the top, which will make it a sealed unit. Then we apply some heat to it, which is just laying the perfect conditions that if that dust gets put into suspension, that it can cause a, a reaction and an explosion. Uh, so from there then, we just add a compressor line to it. It's gonna take and put that non-dairy creamer into suspension, and you can see the fire pattern. It's going to take that dust, catch it on fire, and the explosion follows thereafter. So you get an ignition source. That may be a bearing that got hot. That may be a static spark that happened. Um, and when the dust is put into suspension, that's where you get your explosion from. So typically that will happen in a piece of processing equipment. But as the explosion happens there, uh, it rattles the dust loose in the confined area. So that's why housekeeping is important to keep the dust level down. Because if that dust gets shaken loose, then a secondary explosion happens. And the secondary explosion, that's typically when the real damage happens. The OSHA housekeeping calls for that you can't have more than an eighth of an inch of dust now on any of the surfaces. So if you're taking a look at it, that's window ledges, that's I-beams, that's uh, on top of say a drop ceiling, uh, areas where dust has the, the capability of accumulating. We can't have more than an eighth of an inch of dust or by OSHA rules, we need to do housekeeping and get that cleaned up. We also need to document it, okay? So if we don't document that we did the housekeeping, it, it didn't happen. So there also needs to be documentation that we're doing that housekeeping and at what frequency are we doing it. Dust explosions are, are hard to prevent from happening due to it's not visible for the most part of how much dust is being accumulated within um, the leg of a, of a grain facility. As Director of Safety Compliance, I will tour the facilities and also during my inspections I will ensure that uh, the locations do not have more than an eighth inch of dust accumulation within the grain facility. During the inspections we will discuss the housekeeping uh, daily logs that we do keep at each location. But we also ensure that the maintenance protocols are followed and to ensure that um, all housekeeping and maintenance is, is followed on a daily basis. The attention to Grain dust accumulation within a grain facility is key to prevent an explosion from, from happening. I think we all just need to make sure that uh, everyone's looking out for each other and, uh, and to observe and identify any time that uh, we are over that eighth inch uh, amount of dust. You know, you talk about cliches, but this is seriously where an, an ounce of prevention is definitely worth a pound of cure. Um, because what we're talking about here is cleaning and doing maintenance on your equipment can prevent a catastrophic explosion.